Hello von Lukos here and welcome back to another video. Today we are building an exhibit for Tasmanian Devils, as requested by Gabby Pitt. Um, right off the bat this exhibit is a bit different because this is pretty much built in negative space because everything that is normally on ground level is now on an elevated path. Because that is a cool concept, I thought, and something I wanted to try out. And I figured Tasmanian Devils would be a good species to do it for. Because I started looking around on Zoo Chat for uh, pictures of Tasmanian Devil exhibits. And many of them are set into the ground. So, yeah, I figured let's do it like this. Because it's something that uh, came to mind when I did the Arctic Fox exhibit. Where I used the tank walls to kind of simulate heaps of snow. And a set you could also use to simulate heaps of dirt and stuff. And that is what I do over here. Also because a friend of mine, Red's Tycooner, uh, made an exhibit where he used that effect for uh, heaps of dirt. So I figured, let's try that out as well. So that's what we do over here. Um, the walls are uh, tank walls instead of normal walls. So when we raise the ground next to them... Um, you actually raise the ground against them and not uh, near them like you would do with normal fences. So that gives uh, a nice effect. Not an effect you really notice if you don't look for it, but it does look better. Because otherwise it would be a very cramped little exhibit if uh, the hills were all in the middle. And now it looks a bit more natural and uh, dynamic. I also use different foliage for this exhibit. The very uh, desaturated trees which I used in a previous episode but then uh, decided against it because I thought it didn't look very good in the penguin exhibit because in that context they didn't look very good but this in this context they look decent because here it's more of an arid kind of feel way warmer climate because this is presumably an exhibit in Australia um yeah I think it turned out pretty cool we also use lots of ferns and stuff to give a very tropical feel. And uh, different textures, because we always do that for detailing. As you can see, there is a whole lot going on inside this pretty tiny exhibit, which makes it uh, cool and natural and not boring. Then for the surroundings, I didn't do a whole lot, but I wanted to try things out with these walls and the stairs. Because that's something you can't do uh, normally, but now you can because you're using elevated paths for everything, so that's cool. It's uh, it's something which you would see in real life as well sometimes, these real walls next to stairs with planters and stuff. And it's something you don't see in Zutakun often because it's not really doable. But if you make an entire zoo on elevated paths, then it is possible. And doing that would actually give you lots of cool opportunities for these uh, set into the ground exhibits. Which makes it a uh, different, but very interesting and dynamic. Then you always have a difference in height, because that's something you... Something which often makes exhibits very bland and unrealistic in Sutakun. Because people often just make very flat exhibits with no elevation. I used to do that a lot. And in real life you can get away with that, but in a game it very quickly becomes uh, unrealistic looking because the textures start repeating themselves and yeah, it, it doesn't look natural. But if you have even the slightest bit of elevation, it makes a world of difference. So yeah, that's the Tasmanian Devil exhibit, people. I hope you like it and uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Goodbye.